Hey, how's it going guys? Today we're gonna to be checking out this order from Ubiquity. We have all kinds of stuff from them. Um, I ordered this myself. They did not pay for any of it, unfortunately. So I'm going to be installing the UNVR. And in a separate video, I'm going to be setting up the Swiss Army Knife Ultra. As you can see, the NVR package is quite large. Um, so we'll be taking a look at that here soon. This is the included G4 camera. They're doing a promotion right now where you get a free camera with a purchase of an NVR. So that's fantastic. This is the Swiss Army Knife Ultra access point. Uh, that, like I said, that will be in a separate video. Um, but then this is the UNVR. I'm going to move this out of the box. Let's take a look at it. So as you can see, this thing is like literally massive. Um, I'm not sure why the box is so large, honestly. Um, but they do have a nice pull tab here that we're going to pull. And I'm going to open this up. Uh, this in this box is all of our rack hardware. Um, so this is going to be for mounting this thing to a um, network rack. And then it looks like we just have the NVR. So I'm going to set this on the ground and get this um, out of the box. Okay, so this is the UNVR. This is the standard model. And that is what it looks like. So if we take a look here at the back, um, as you can see, we have a 10 gigabit per second network port. Um, that is an SFE plus. We also have a one gigabit per second ethernet port as well as the RPS um, connect port uh, and then our main power connection. There's no screen on this device. We just have the four hard drive caddies here and I will be installing two terabyte hard drives into three of these caddies and leaving the fourth blank. Here are the hard drives I'll be using. These are the Seagate Barracuda compute drives. I just had these all from a previous project. I'm not using them anymore, and I figured I could save some money on drives and just reuse these existing ones. Um, since this device does support RAID, um, I'm not too concerned about using non-surveillance um, drives in this device because um, if one of these drives were to die, it would automatically recover once I add a new drive. So um, that is just the benefit of RAID. So like I said, I'm not going to be using... Um, any other drives besides these three two terabyte drives, which should give me about four terabytes of capacity. Currently in my setup, I only have about 120 gigabytes of capacity uh, due to just a single SSD that I have in my UDM Pro. So this will be quite a big upgrade for me. Here is our power connection. This is just a standard IEC connection for the device. And here we have all of our screws that we will need. I believe um, there's also all the screws for the drives in here for the drive caddies. And yes, I was correct. So we have all of the screws for the drives. Um, these screws are for the rack ears. We have our rack nuts and screws. And this is for if you're trying to set it on a desk, but I'm not going to be doing that. Here are the rack ears for the device. Just take those out. And that is all we need. So I'm going to start putting this thing together. I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, and then we'll get this booted up. I'm also going to show you how to migrate your Unify Protect from one device to another. That is a feature that seems to be supported now, which is fantastic. So I will be able to migrate my existing cameras, uh, the Protect cameras. I can migrate those now over to this new NVR device. And that will save me some time um, from resetting every device individually. Okay, so I have an iFixit screwdriver here. This is the rack ear we're going to be installing. If we go over here to the side, as you can see, there are four screw holes. And we need to grab four screws and just screw them on in. Um, this bit should, yeah, this bit is fine. Um, it's the largest bit in this I fix it kit I have, so it'll have to do. Okay, so before we even power it on, I'm actually going to install the drives. So you just have to pull on this pull tab. It'll open up and you can pull the caddy right on out. I'm going to take a drive and place it into the caddy. And I'm going to take four screws and put it into the drive wherever the screw holes line up. So I've just only done one screw actually. I've put the one screw in there. It looks like it's actually meant to lock into the tray. As you can see, there's this little clip bar here and there's actually no other screw holes that line up with this drive. So I think it's literally just one screw now, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's a lot easier to set up and a lot quicker as well. I'm gonna slide this drive in and I'm going to set up the other two drives. And here goes the last drive. Just push in and it clicks right on in. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take these um, rack uh, nuts out and I will get these ready for me to install the NVR. 
uh, to network the NVR. I apologize for the mess on the floor here. Um, I was actually emptying out my backpack, but I'm going to be using this DAC cable to network the device in to my 10 gigabit network. Not that this will ever get anywhere close to a 10 gigabit connection. I just like to have everything as possible on 10 gig. And eventually Ubiquiti actually made it sound like they're going to support a file share system or something on this device. So you can actually be able to use this as a NAS in the future, which is really cool. So the 10 gigabit connection is really nice because then I'll have a faster connection to all of the drives on the device, assuming they release that feature. So now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put this in the MDF. I'm going to get this thing installed with the rack nuts. I'm gonna to try to record it and we will be right back. Okay, so we're going to open up the rack now and I have port 14 on the core switch allocated to the UNVR. So I'm going to unplug the um, blank panel I'm going to plug in the DAC cable to port 14. This is already patched into my security VLAN for all of my security cameras. And I'm going to, I'm going to just patch this right through the back. And I'm going to route this back to the device. Okay, so now that the NVR is racked up and ready to go, I'm going to close up the front of the rack. And now we can proceed with plugging in the device and setting it up. I honestly don't remember what the setup process looks like for the UNVR. The last time I did it was probably six months to a year ago. So I'm not quite sure if that process has changed or what the case may be. As you can see, it's a mess of cables back here. We're going to take the insert out, the blank cover, and I'm going to insert the DAC cable in first. That way it has network as soon as it powers up. And now I'm going to take the power connection that I ran and first of all, find it. Uh, and then I will be plugging that into the NVR. As you can see, the device is now um, lighting up. There's a white light on it. None of the drives are lighting up yet. I'm going to wait for the device to boot and then I'm going to proceed um, with the setup of the device, however that goes. And as you can see, a new device is found. We're gonna click set up. It's going to connect to the NVR. I'm actually not sure why it's using the Ubiquiti Network Mobile app um, instead of the Protect app. And we're going to proceed. It says internet not detected. So I'm going to actually go and check my firewall rules because it is likely that I'm actually blocking internet on the security network. Okay, so apparently we had to plug in the ethernet cable to set up the device. Um, as you can see, it is setting up Unify OS now. I'm not sure why it requires an ethernet cable for the um, setup of the device. I hope it doesn't require it um, all of the time. Um, be kind of odd if it does but okay so the setup is now complete we're going to open up the protect app and we're going to click on our nvr and it says the console is updating okay so this is on my old unify protect i have downloaded the migration file i'm going to go over here to the new one and as soon as this starts i will be able to log in to unify protect and as you can see unify protect is now loaded we're going to go to settings and system and we're going to import file here, copy the Unify Protect file, upload this thing and import the backup file. As you can see the import code, oh, Protect is offline. I'm guessing, yep, Protect is most likely restarting now that I've imported the file. So I'm going to let Protect start and I'm going to go back to my old console actually and I'm going to stop Unify Protect. This is going to allow me to start it then on the new console and ensure that all of the cameras aren't managed by two consoles at once. And now we're going to click on Unify Protect, and it says Protect is offline for some reason. So I'm going to give it a little bit to boot up and hope that everything shows up. So it looks like actually all of these settings are completely matched from the backup file, which is really nice. Um, the only thing that's not matched actually is the um, multi-view for some reason. Uh, the multi-views did not sync over. Um, between protect installations. So I'm gonna let this all resync and then I'm going to check to make sure that the recordings are working and the detections are also working. Okay, so obviously I'm not gonna be able to show a lot of the camera names or camera angles, um, but I can tell you that all of the cameras have been readopted automatically. Um, they all just showed up right now, which is fantastic. I'm gonna go over here to OS settings and click on storage. As you can see, we still have about three hours left of the RAID um, array that is being built. So that is fine, I'm just gonna let that run. Um, and that is all for the NVR actually. It was a super simple setup. It was just a matter of downloading the backup file and importing the file into the new to the new console. That is all I have for this video. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this vlog style of video. If you want to see more like this, let me know. 
Uh, but thank you for watching. Have a great day. I will see you in the next video.